below students and friends. Today in this homeopathic materia medica lesson, I will discuss about homeopathic medicine Chilodonium Magus. Before start this video please subscribe to this channel. We need support from you to make this channel more beautiful. Chilodonium Magus. A prominent liver remedy, covering many of the direct reflex symptoms of diseased conditions of that organ. The jaundiced skin, and especially the constant pain under inferior angle of right scapula, are certain indications. Paralytic drawing and lameness in single parts. The great general lethargy and indisposition to make any effort is also marked. Ailments brought on or renewed by change of weather. Serous effusions. Hydrocell. Bilious complication during gestation. Head. Icy coldness of occiput from the nape of neck. Feels heavy as lead. Heavy. Lethargic. Drowsiness very marked. With general numbness. Vertigo. Associated with hepatic disturbance. Inclination to fall forward. Right-sided headache down behind ears and shoulder blade. Neuralgia over right eye, right cheekbone and right ear, with excessive lacrimation, preceded by pain in liver. Nose, flapping of LAE nazi, like. Eyes, dirty yellow collar of whites. Sore sensation on looking up. Tears fairly gush out. Orbital neuralgia of right eye, with profuse lacrimation, pupils contracted, relieved by pressure. Face, yellow, worst nose and cheeks. Wilted skin. Stomach, tongue yellow, with imprint of teeth, large and flabby, murk, hide. Taste bitter, pasty. Bad odor from mouth. Prefers hot food and drink. Nausea, vomiting, better, very hot water. Pain through stomach to back and right shoulder blade. Gastralgia. Eating relieves temporarily, especially when accompanied with hepatic symptoms. Abdomen, jaundice due to hepatic and gallbladder obstruction. Gall colic. Distension. Fermentation and sluggish bowels. Constriction across, as by a string. Liver enlarged. Gallstones, berberous. Urine, profuse, foaming, yellow urine, like beer, chenop, dark, turbid. Stool, constipation, stools hard, round balls, like sheep stung, bright yellow, pasty, clay colored. Stools float in water, alternation of diarrhea and constipation. Burning and itching of anus, retan, self. Female, menses too late and too profuse. Respiratory, very quick and short inspirations, pain on deep inspiration. Dyspnea. Short, exhausting cough, sensation of dust not relieved by cough. Whooping cough, spasmodic cough, loose, rattling, expectoration difficult. Pain in right side of chest and shoulder, with embarrassed respiration. Small lumps of mucus fly from mouth when coughing. Horse in afternoon. Constriction of chest. Back, pain in nape. Stiff neck, head drawn to left. Fixed pain under inner and lower angle of right scapula. Pain at lower angle of left scapula. Extremities, pain in arms, shoulders, hands, tips of fingers. Icy coldness of tips of fingers, wrist sore, tearing in metacarpal bones. Whole flesh sore to touch. Rheumatic pain in hips and thighs, intolerable pains in heels, as if pinched by too narrow a shoe, worse, right. Feels paralyzed. Paces of the lower limbs with rigidity of muscles. Skin, dry heat of skin, itches, yellow. Painful red pimples and pustules. Old, spreading, offensive ulcers. Wilted skin. Sallow, cold, clammy. Modalities, worse, right side, motion, touch, change of weather, very early in morning. Better, after dinner, from pressure. Chilodonium is a remedy more suitable for acute diseases though it cures certain chronic conditions. It is not a very deep acting remedy. It is about like bryonia in its general plane, length and depth, of action. It has been used principally in gastric and intestinal guitars, in acute and semi-chronic liver troubles, and in right-sided pneumonia. The skin is likely to be sallow, and gradually increases to a marked jaundice in connection with these complaints. Semi-chronic gastritis, with jaundice. Gastroduodenal catar. Congestion and soreness in the liver, with jaundice. Right-sided pneumonia, complicated with liver troubles, or jaundice. This remedy seems to act throughout the system, but almost always along with it the liver is involved, and it is suitable for what the old people and the doctors call biliousness. The patient is generally bilious, has nausea and vomiting. Distension of the veins. Yellowish-gray color of the skin. Very few mental symptoms have been brought out in its proving. Not enough to give us a good idea of the desires and aversions. We do not get a clear idea of the intellectual faculties. 
It needs further proving, yet in many regions it has had superabundance of proving. Sadness and anxiety. Brooding over some sort of trouble generally runs through the mental state. Anxiety, allowing no rest, keeping the patient uneasy day and night. Sadness, as if she had committed a crime, as if some dreadful thing was going to happen. So sad that she thinks she must die. Weeping despondency. Distaste for mental exertion and conversation. If you examine those medicines that act primarily upon the liver, that slow down the action of the liver, you will find the word melancholia. With heart troubles, great excitement. With liver troubles, slowing down of the mental state, inability of the mind to work, sluggishness of the mind, inability to think, inability to meditate, slow pulse, sluggishness of the whole economy. The sensorium is very commonly disturbed, and the patient is dizzy. Things go round in a circle. Dizziness comes, and it does not let up until nausea, and sometimes vomiting, follows. So much turning in the head that he vomits. Confusion of mind. Loss of consciousness and fainting. These are also common features with liver troubles. The mind symptoms are present more or less with the following liver symptoms. There are pains of a dull aching character, soreness. Bruised pains. Tenderness of the liver to touch. Aching pains, that seem to involve the whole right lobe of the liver, creating a sensation of fullness. Pressure upwards, with difficulty of breathing. Pressure downwards, sympathetic with the stomach, with the nausea and vomiting. And then more intense pain felt under the right scapula. Dull aching pains under the right scapula, sharp, shooting pains under the right scapula, these complicate themselves again with pneumonia, with pleurisy. It cures pneumonia and pleurisy. It cures various forms of congestion in the liver, when these pains go from before backward, and seem to be felt through the back. Stitching in the region of the liver, extending through to back. Hard pains felt through their back. Some patients will describe these pains as shooting pains, some as tearing pains, and others as sharp pains, going through the right hypochondrium or through the right lobe of the liver to the back. Pains from the region of the liver, shooting towards the back and shoulders. Spasmodic pain in the region of the liver. Pressing pain in the region of the liver. In congestion or inflammation, fullness and enlargement, semi-chronic cases, or even acute, this medicine proves suitable for such conditions. The right hypochondrium is tense and painful to pressure. This remedy has cured gallstone colic. Practitioners, who know how to direct a remedy, relieve gallstone colic in a few minutes. We have remedies that act on the circular fibers of these little tubes, causing them to relax and allow the stone to pass painlessly. In a perfect state of health, of course, there are no stones in the bile that is held in the gallbladder, but this little cystic duct opens its mouth and a little gallstone engages in it, and it creates an irritation by scratching along the mucous membrane of that little tube. When this pain is a shooting, stabbing, tearing, lancinating pain, extending through to the back, chelidonium will cure it. The instant it relieves the patient says, why, what a relief, that pain has gone. The remedy has relieved that spasm, the little duct opens up and the stone passes out through the ductus communis coldishus. Every remedy that is indicated by the symptoms will cure gallstone colic. A patient lying in bed, with great heat, extreme sensitiveness, cannot have the body touched, screaming with pain, red face and hot head, with gallstone colic, will be relieved in three minutes by bell, but that is not at all like this remedy. Natrum self. And many other remedies have cured gallstone colic in a few minutes, when the symptoms agreed. Now as to the pneumonia, it is generally of the right side, or right-sided spreading to the left. The right-sidedness is marked, and but small portions of the left lung are involved. The pleura is generally involved, and so there are stitching, tearing pains. One may not practice long before he will find a chelidonium patient, sitting up in bed with high fever, bending forward upon his elbows, holding himself perfectly still, for this medicine has as much aggravation from motion as brie. All of the pains are extremely aggravated from motion. This patient is sitting with a pain that transfixes him, he cannot stir, he cannot move without the pain shooting through him like a knife. The next day you will see that his skin is growing yellow. If you see him in the beginning chelidonium will relieve him and you will prevent that pneumonia. It is not uncommon in children, and it is extremely common in adults. Do not get confused with bryonia. Both are violently worse from motion. Bryonia wants to lie on the painful side or wants to lie on the back if the pneumonia is mostly in the posterior part of the right lung. In chelidonium he is worse from touch and motion. Bell. Has that extremely painful, tearing, rending of the right lung with pleurisy, but in Bell, 
One cannot touch that right side, cannot press it, but must lie on the other side and he cannot move. Cannot stand ajar of the bed, because of the extreme sensitiveness to motion. I mention all three in this particular way because they have some things in common, but the remedies are different. Chelidonium has cough with chest symptoms of the right side, liver affections, and the mental affections that commonly belong to these, violent aggravation from motion. The pains are ameliorated by heat. Pain that extends to the stomach, ameliorated by heat. Mental symptoms ameliorated by eating. Craves hot milk, hot fluids. Eating warm food ameliorates the liver, the chest and stomach symptoms. Bilious vomiting. Retching, bilious eructations. Nausea and retching during an attack of anxiety. These are all commonly present during the complaints described. The pains, when they become severe, seem to strike the stomach and cause vomiting. Ameliorated by something hot. A feeling of anguish in the pit of the stomach. Persistent pain in the stomach, aggravated by motion and ameliorated by eructations. Constriction and sensitiveness in the pit of the stomach. These are all aggravated by touch and ameliorated by eating. Constant aching pain in the stomach, ameliorated by food. Constrictive, pinching pain in the stomach better from drawing up the limbs and lying on the left side, ameliorated by eating. It has many eye symptoms. Stitching pains. Opacity of the cornea. Inflammations. Bruised pain in the eyes. Right supraorbital neuralgia. In many instances it prefers the right side. In the face the jaundice is the most marked thing that is expressed, and, then, we have the dirty grey complexion. Pale, dirty yellow face. The headaches are brought on from heat, unlike the stomach and the liver, and the lungs, etc. The head is aggravated from motion, aggravated from heat, aggravated from a warm room, aggravated from warm applications. There is where it differs from the internal or general state. There are numerous headaches, periodical bilious sick headaches, with vomiting of bile, brought on from exposure to heat, from being overheated, aggravated from motion, wants to lie perfectly quiet in a dark room, and better from vomiting bile. Old-fashioned bilious sick headaches, bilious diarrhea, along with jaundice, clay-like, pale, fecal, putter-like stool, bileless stool, still too light-colored, still quite white in children, diarrhea and constipation alternate, still brown, white, watery, green mucus, thin, pasty, bright yellow, or grey tinged with yellow. Coarseness. While coughing, pain in the larynx, and pressure in the larynx. The difficult breathing comes on with liver symptoms and pneumonia and chest troubles in general. Difficult respiration, with short fits of coughing. Short, quick breathing. Anxiety as if he must choke. Difficult breathing, tightness over the chest as if breathing would be hindered. It has also nightly attacks of humid asthma this is brought on from every change of the weather. All its complaints are brought on from changes in the weather. He cannot stand weather changes, either too cold or too warm. Rheumatic complaints in the shoulders, hips and limbs, from changes in the weather. With complaints of the liver, lungs and chest, there are coughs. They are spasmodic. The chronic cough is violent, spasmodic, dry, corning in paroxysms. Spasmodic cough, thanks for watching this video. For more updates please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to learn homeopathy course online thank you. Have a nice day.